Welcome back to the channel guys, Crypto Lightsaber back with another video and I wanted to do a TA video on Matic Polygon. Um, there's quite a few tokens that are breaking out. Uh, in my Telegram group, I have been letting people know that I was going to be holding off sitting in Tether mostly um, while the weekend was happening. Uh, we saw this massive downtrend, okay, massive sell-off in the market. But I did anticipate that Sunday evening, being now, will be a time to start buying altcoins at least for those short-term bounces because the traditional markets normally open at around half 11 uh, UTC time. All right, so right about now, we are getting that bounce. All right, guys? So we've actually got a breakout on Matic at this uh, downward sloping resistance. It is being carried up by the moving averages. All right, guys? I actually expect this to come up uh, over the next couple of hours, potentially, and begin to retest the 99-day close. Uh, and that's just potentially at the end of the day. Um, trading the horizontals, there is some resistance at around one dollar and 46 cents uh, that's where the most of the resistance is if we uh, if we don't count the wicks okay so let's just pop a line in over there all right guys and um yeah i just want to do a little bit of ta in terms of checking out the rsi and the macd and stuff like that so i'm just going to do it while we're on the video okay so looking at that if we go on the 15 minute chart you see it has crossed over the moving averages all right guys it has had that retest on the 100 day and it's going to potentially break back to the upside. All right, so further movement for that. And what I do is I go through the time frames to see exactly where we stand on all of the time frames. On the hour, uh, the one hour chart obviously hasn't come up to test that line. And you see that that line actually perfectly matches up with the 100 day moving average at the moment. Of course, it will cross. So that target can become slightly lower or it may just breach up over it and then come back down. We'll have to wait and see how that plays out. Okay, if we go on the four hour, we'll see that there is still some way to go to test the 100 day as well. And then we get the purple line, which is a 25 day close. And these are just the standard uh, moving averages that come. You don't even need to adjust it. If you go on Binance, these are the standards that you'll get. You'll get a seven day, the 25 day, and 100 day. Obviously, we like to use a 200 EMA as well, but it's not really necessary at the moment for the short term play that we're looking at at the moment okay if we go on the one day let's just have a look all right on the one day obviously we are having a big wick on this candle and i do expect that to potentially go green and come and test that line we'll also do a fibonacci retracement just to see how that looks because at the end of the day when we do the ta and we uh, take chances on these trades at the end of the day we're looking for multiple confirmations all right so we've got the confirmations on the lower time frames to the higher time frames so everything is looking good at first glance okay so let's just get some indicators out and check out the rsi and the macd and see what those are looking like and i believe in that we're going to get uh, quite a few confirmations it's going to enable us to know exactly where we're going with this all right guys so we've got the macd and we've got the rsi straight away that is looking really bullish you might not be able to see that so let's just change the color of that and make it a bit brighter so you guys can see exactly what I'm looking at. All right, guys. Um, a lot of you are new to the channel, so you haven't really seen the TA side of things from me. But uh, there's a first time for everything. Okay, so first of all, on the RSI, you can see that it has broke out of this resistance and it is moving to the upside. Okay, it was completely oversold. Completely oversold, guys. As you can see, it was coming down into these ranges down below the 20 mark. Okay, and now it's broken out. So I believe that that may potentially, and this is on the one hour, by the way, because this is a short term move that we're looking at, may potentially come up into this range over here. So that is looking bullish on the RSI, at least on the one hour. We also see on the one hour for the MACD, uh, we are getting a move to the upside. You can see that the momentum is shifting to the upside and you do have the blue line which is crossing over the red line so that potentially uh, can get a move to the upside it is right at the bottom so definitely a lot of uh, room to grow uh in the in the very short to mid term okay so definitely uh, looks good there right so finally we'll do a fibonacci retracement so let's just get rid of these all right and uh i think we'll do that on the one day of course so we can see what levels uh, we're looking at in terms of price action at the moment. Okay, so if we go from over here and we range that up towards there, 
Okay, so when we look at this, we can see it more or less almost hit that 0.786 level. So it is a very deep correction. Okay, but it is beginning to whip back up, back over the 0.618 level. So we need to see where this closes in the next hour. And obviously, I, I, I do think that it will close above the 0.618 level. And then we could say it's basically a 0.618 retracement. And we'll see that bounce potentially to test the move the seven day moving average up in this range okay guys and that would that would take us to the target of around uh, one dollar and 45 cents approximately okay now obviously i like to play it safe so i'll be getting out on the short term bounce in the one dollar 38 cent range potentially all right guys and obviously if we do uh, lose some strength i'll probably uh, change my mind and get out a little bit uh, uh lower than that but my entry is really good right now on this and like i said we are getting a breakout and we are getting that follow through the volume is looking nice as well so let's just see how this plays out guys like comment and subscribe tick the little bell for notifications so you can get these videos as soon as they come out and i will see you in the next video